So there's no doubt we are in a situation where the number's increasing. What I'd like to do is just remind you how quickly this can move. So the next slide is not a prediction, but it is a way of thinking about how quickly this can change. So this is the UK reported cases per day against time. And you can see running along the bottom there the number of cases over June, July, and August, up to roughly 3,000 cases per day or so in September, middle of September. At the moment, we think that the epidemic is doubling roughly every seven days. It could be a little bit longer, maybe a little bit shorter, but let's say roughly every seven days. If, and that's quite a big if, but if that continues unabated and this grows doubling every seven days, then what you see, of course, let's say that there were 5,000 today, it would be 10,000 next week, 20,000 the week after, 40,000 the week after. And you can see that by mid-October, if that continued, you would end up with something like 50,000 cases in the middle of October per day. 50,000 cases per day would be expected to lead a month later, so the middle of November, say, to 200 plus deaths per day. So this graph, which is not a prediction, is simply showing you how quickly this can move if the doubling time stays at seven days. And of course, the challenge, therefore, is to make sure that the doubling time does not stay at seven days. There are already things in place which are expected to slow that. And to make sure that we do not enter into this exponential growth and end up with the problems that you would predict as a result of that. That requires speed, it requires action, and it requires enough in order to be able to bring that down.